Hi, I'm Hilke, and welcome to my World Machine tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will look at a crude but proven method to create a lake in World Machine with its own water system. It will involve some more advanced techniques and will heavily rely on the composite type device. First, we will create a really simple, not that interesting terrain. I will use an advanced burden for this. Which can really use anything you want, as long as we have a place where we can put our lake. Having settled on our terrain, we can now place a lake somewhere. We're going to add two more devices, being a combiner and a shapes device, and wiring them up as follows. The output of the advanced burden into the top input, the output of the shape device into the bottom input. Then we will set the combiner's method to subtract and its strength to 1. We will now lock our preview on the output of the combiner and then open the shapes device. Then we'll draw a circle on the spot that is a suitable location for the lake. The shape doesn't have to be large and as you can see we now get a really big crater that is not at all suitable so we can either change the height of the shape internally or what I prefer, reduce the strength of the combiner a bit. So let's hop out of here for a moment and reduce the strength a bit. We can fiddle around with the fall off distance as well and the fall off curve and add some break up to the shape, but for now I'll leave it like this. So far not really challenging, quite basic stuff, so let's go dig a bit deeper and we will be creating the water system needed if we want a proper lake. First, we must create a mask that tells us where we have spawned our lake. We will grab a new combiner device and a select height device. The combiner will be set to absolute differences with its strength to 1. To its inputs, we will hook up the output of the combiner set to subtract and the output of the advanced Berlin. The order of the inputs doesn't matter. We will now pass that output of the combiner into the select height device and set its range from 1 meter to max world height whilst also setting its fall off to zero. We now have all areas selected that are changed when creating the lake's crater. Next up we will create a water surface which can simply be modulated using a constant device. We will mix in the constant using another combiner. set to max with its strength set to 1. Now when we increase the height of the constant we see a poor result because we just see the constant rise through all of our terrain, not great. But that is why we created that lake mask. We will hook up the output of the select height to the mask of the combiner. And now we will only add this constant to our terrain where it matters. Do note that we could in theory create a column of water that is not realistic, keep that in mind. With the water surface ready we can now create a height map for the water depth. This is quite a simple step and if you want a challenge pause the video and see if you can figure it out yourself. To get the depth we simply add a new combiner device and set it to absolute differences. We then hook up the output of the previous combiner device and the input of that combiner device. We will set its strength to 1. And that's it, the depth of our leg. The final part is the first tricky bit. We will create our vector field. A vector what? Exactly, a vector field. The vector field is a special data type in World Machine that contains two height maps, one for the water flow on the x-axis and the other for the water flow on the y-axis. As to how this exactly works is for now not important, but what is important is that our lake has no flow at all, and we can just create a neutral vector field, which is luckily really simple. We add a new constant device, and set its height to half the world's height. For me, that's 1275 meters. For the vector field, half the world's height, or 50% gray, means no flow, which is what we need. We then add a composite type device. Set it to pack to composite type, 
and the type to core.factorField. Two inputs appear and we will hook up the output of the constant device to both the inputs. We now have ourselves a proper factor field data type. Do note that such data types cannot be previewed. With the water surface, water depth and factor field all ready, we can perform our final step, creating the water system. Again, using the composite type device. We add a new one to the world and again set it to pack. But now we set the type to core.3025.water, after which three inputs appear. We will now hook up everything to the appropriate ports. The combiner max to the water surface input, the combiner absolute differences to the depth, and the factor field to the flow deer input. Now when we click on the composite type, we see a floating lake. But what we of course want is to see it placed in our terrain. The final device to add will be a scene view and we will hook up the terrain of the first combiner to the terrain input and the water system to the water input. We now have a fully custom lake and world machine with a proper water system. You can, of course, change the location of the lake to wherever you please. The only thing to keep in mind is that you will have to adjust the height of the constant device to have a proper water surface. The rest is all done automatically. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have learned a thing or two. See ya!